Hey guys, it's Joel Runyon with Impossible and Move Well today. And today I've got another mobility tool video for you guys. I have a bunch of these mobility tools around my house, so I thought I'd just pick them up, run through them, and tell you guys what I think about them. Uh, today's uh, is this it's a muscle scraper. It's used for scraping muscles. Genius name, I know. I will be here all day. So what the hell is a muscle scraper? What does it do? And should you pick one up? Let's talk about it. So what is muscle scraping? Basically, you use a tool like this to scrape your muscles. Pretty complicated, I know, right? This comes from an old Chinese practice called Gua Sha, and the new term for this in the Western world is typically called the Granston Technique. But if you're like me and you like simple names, an easy way to remember this is gonna be just calling it a muscle scraper because it scrapes muscles. How this typically works is you pick the area of your body that you want to work on, you lubricate it a little bit, and then you use the muscle scraper to work out that area. Some people use jade stones for this process and some people use metallic tools, but most of the modern tools look something along the lines of this, which I've got right here. If you want to get more zen and go back to the eastern roots, uh, you can use one of the jade stones. But if you're going to go full woo-woo, you should just get crystals and Palo Santo and sage up the place. It's not my style, but I'm in Austin. I can hang. All right, so what does muscle scraping actually do for you? Is it worth your time? And should you pick one up? First up, anti-inflammation. Now, this term is thrown around all over the place by anybody uh, with really nothing to back it up. But in this specific case, there's been a couple studies that have shown that muscle scraping can help release an enzyme, which is anti-inflammatory in nature. So that's gonna actually help uh, reduce inflammation in your muscles and joints as uh, you're scraping those parts of your body out. The second thing that people use this for is pain relief. This is pretty self-explanatory. There are some studies on this, but this is a pretty simple, straightforward, N equals one situation. It's like going to get a massage. Do you need a study to show that a massage is working? Maybe, maybe that'd be helpful. But also if you leave the massage feeling pretty good, you kind of know it worked. That's kind of how I feel about pain relief and muscle scraping. If you're pushing yourself a lot and you need a way to recover and you're having a lot of muscle pain, this can be a good way to help relieve that. Muscle scraping can also help with range of motion by working out the knots, fascia, and improving a bunch of the markers that I listed above you're gonna feel a lot better, but it's also going to help improve range of motion, especially in muscles around your joints. This is going to help with overall performance capacity as increased range of motion is directly correlated to power output. And the last one is improved overall athletic performance. Now there's studies on muscle scraping helping both muscular and cardiovascular performance. So while the muscular performance makes sense based on the studies that are out there, the cardiovascular study that was done was basically done on healthy male athletes already. And so the cardiovascular improvements that are claimed are probably due to just increased muscular performance. So while you might get a cardiovascular boost out of muscle scraping, you're gonna to need to do a lot more studies on that to have that actually backed up. And you can probably chalk it up mostly to improve muscle performance overall. So how do you actually do this and what's the step-by-step -step process for muscle scraping? Get a muscle scraping tool like this. This is what most modern tools look like, but you can get a jade stone or a gua sha specific tool. Then pick an area on your body that is particularly sore or tight or you feel like needs work. From there, you can apply a lotion or a spray to help make the area more malleable. Then you slowly use the tool to start working on the area back and forth, scraping the muscle. In each area, you should work in the same direction for the entirety of the movement. 15 to 20 seconds at a time. When you're done with that area, move on to the next one and you can repeat it all over again. There's a couple things you need to be careful of when you first start muscle scraping. First off, don't press too hard. You should be slowly working into the muscle, not demolishing 20 years of scar tissue in one go. Think of it like a massage. They start easy, they eventually work up to the point where it hurts, but they're not doing it from the get-go. Number two, stay hydrated. If you're not drinking water, this is like taking advanced calculus before you're learning how to add. You should be covering the basics and doing the basics to take care of your body. Ideally, drinking lots of water, 
and a lot of electrolytes. If you guys don't know, I'm a big fan of Element. I'll drop a link. You can pick up a sample pack if you like. But even if you don't pick that up, drink water, drink electrolytes, stay hydrated, take care of your body. It's pretty simple. If you're gonna go to the extent to buy some of these mobility tools, and then sometimes they can get expensive, you should at least be sure that you're drinking enough water to start. Number three, it should hurt a little bit, not a lot. Find the sweet spot to start and slowly work your way up and increase the pressure if you need it. Finally, a lot of these tools come with a type of spray. Uh, this is helpful, sometimes very helpful, but not 100% necessary. If you don't have it, you can try it out but it will make the overall process much more comfortable for you. So what do I think? Should you try this? Is it worth testing out? Should you get a muscle scraper? Personally, I like muscle scrapers. I find them helpful and I find especially useful for getting into specific areas around my joints. The hardest part about muscle scraping is doing it consistently by yourself. If you have a training partner or a significant other, a lot of times they can use one of these to get to places that you can't reach on your own. So having a partner can help make sure that you're muscle scraping in all the areas you need to. Also, if you're muscle scraping, it should feel good, but it also might hurt a little bit. So sometimes it's nice to have a partner to help push you a little bit farther than you might try to do it on your own. Doing a video about a like six inch metal object, I don't know what I expected. I know what this looks like. I'm just trying, trying to do a video, guys. Trying to do a video. All right guys, that's it for today's video. Drink your water, do your mobility work so you can get stronger and recover faster. If you guys like the video, hit like, subscribe, and the notification bell uh, helps me know what you guys like to see on the channel and let me know what other videos you want me to cover in the comments down below. You can check out all my stuff at impossiblehq.com. You can check out our free fitness training programs and apps at impossiblefitness.com. You can check out movewellapp.com for free mobility training tools and resources and you can check out impossible.co if you want to pick up some dope impossible gear so you can push your limits and go do something impossible all right that's it for this video guys thanks for watching i'll see you on the next video boom